Okay, so question one was as follows. Dash, he puts his outer garment back on and returned to his place at the table. Dash, okay? Or that means uh, this part they have gotten is just on the middle. So before it, it starts, there are some um, statements that have been cut out. And before the end of the entire passage, there are some statements which they have cut out. That means they have only picked the middle section of the passage. Okay? So for us to understand fully the passage, we're going to read the entire passage. So let's read together. When he had finished washing their feet, he put on his clothes and returned to his place do you understand what I have done for you? He asked them. Okay, so now we are able to trace um, the passage that is uh, that he, the one that is uh, removed, the statement that is removed, and put in the question. Okay, and we can see the remaining of the other statements in the passage. Okay, so I go to question number one a, which is. Who put his outer garment back on and returned to the table? So the person who put on his outer garment is the one who was washing their feet. Okay. So who washed the feet or who washed their feet? Okay. We know that in, in the in the Bible, I told that Jesus washed uh, the feet of his disciples. Okay. So the answer is Jesus Christ. Okay. We go to question number one B. Why did he take off his outer garment in the in the first place? Why did he take off his outer garment in the first place? Okay. So the reason he took off his garment, you can find that in the answer where at the beginning of the statement when when he it where it reads us, when he had finished washing their feet, so he took of the garment the outer garment because he was washing their feet so we can say he was washing his disciples feet okay so that is the reason why he took off his garment he wanted to wash or he was washing the feet of his disciples we got question number one c which is state the question that asked them when he returned at the table so, if we go back to the passage, you see that the question he asked them is, do you understand what I have just done to you? This is the question that he asked them, okay? We got question number one D, which is state four teachings that he gave to them. Four teachings that he gave to them, okay? The first one is, he has set an example and they will do just like that. So what he was trying to do here is set them an example of how a leader should save his followers. Okay, which is very difficult nowadays to see in leaders. Leaders nowadays, they just want to be boss. Just like the monitor in your class and the monitors in your class. They, they almost feel, they almost express themselves as if they want to be worshipped. They want to be bossy. Okay, so... Jesus is showing us an example to say, as a leader, you should set an example of saving people, okay? So that's why a leader should be a good servant of the people. That's an example he's giving. The second one is, he himself, the Lord and teacher, have just washed their feet, okay? So this is similar to what I have already alluded to, okay? The other one is, they call him teacher, and Lord, it is true they do so. Okay? That is the other one. The fourth one and the last one is they should wash one another's feet. Okay? I have seen, um, I have seen certain churches that perform uh, this uh, kind of activity. Um, I'm not sure, but it's like it uses it. They call it Ichi Monwa. I don't know if you see there are other also churches that do this. So you're setting an example which uh, the Christian should follow. Okay, so those are the four teachings that he gave to them. Okay, uh, question one e is as follows. 
give one value that you have learned from the Bible passage. Okay, one. So there are a lot of things that you can learn from the passage, but one of it that stands out is humility, humbleness. Okay, you should be able to be humble, even if you are a leader or you are not a leader, you're just a person, be humble. Okay, the other one is selfless. Okay, so I'll just give you two since they, since they want one. I'll give you two. One, it's humble or humility. The other one is selfless. Okay, you just have to be selfless. Okay, so these are the answers that we are supposed to be given on question one of section C.